it is Saturday morning and yes, I am wearing a pink huggle because <laughs> it is nice and cozy. Today in Pennsylvania is going to be 60. Well, it says Philly 60. I'm not going to be in Philly, but we are going to take full advantage of an extremely warm day. So it is now 7.30. I've been up for a couple hours. Have not accomplished much, but I've been up. So I am making now a few pieces of bacon. I'm going to make a couple fried eggs and then I'm gonna put it in a wrap because I am going bike riding. I'm so excited. My friend Kari and I, you guys, oh, yep, I am looking rough. Okay, <laughs> it's who I am. So my friend Kari and I, who I've ridden bikes with many times, she and I are going to go on a bike ride. I'm so excited. We're going to a trail, coffee break. Um, what's the name of the trail, Doug? Okay, we're doing the Schuylkill River Trail or the Perky Omen. I don't remember. I think it's the Perky Omen. And, oh, I got to take this bacon off. Oh, I got to use my glasses or I can't see. So I gave half of that to Rachel because it was too much. The sun is now coming up. I'm so happy. We are going to go, like I said, to a trail. It's near Philadelphia. I think we're going to go about... 10 maybe 12 miles but i'm hoping it's closer to 10. i haven't ridden obviously in a couple months except for at planet fitness so obviously my body oh and my butt is not used to stand, sitting on a bike for a couple hours so <laughs> it will be painful at first but i know it'll it'll get better i am also excited because i have a new helmet i bought a helmet that i can put an action camera on the top so i'm gonna look like a dork i totally get that but I also just needed a new helmet so I can wear it without the um, camera on it or I can wear it with. But um, I'm excited to be able to try it and see if I can get some good footage. So I'll show you guys the scenery. Obviously it's winter, it's not gonna be very green, but it'll be pretty, I think. And the fun thing is, is Doug is going golfing with Kari's husband, Mark. So it's fun because we're going to go do our thing. The guys are going to do their thing and that's fine. Do you want to go down there? Is that what you want? Do you want to go down there? Mia. Okay. <laughs> Clearly you want to go down in the basement. There you go. Oh, what's that? Spring! <laughs> Yay! Okay, we went how many miles? 11? 11.23 to be exact. <laughs> so it actually wasn't as bad as we both thought it would be. We were freezing in the beginning because it was in the, it's, we think it's in the 50s about, which for Pennsylvania in February, that's amazing, but certainly not, you know, 90 degree weather in the summer. So which is actually nice. Our yeah. hands were free. Were your, did your hands get warm ever? They, I think, went numb. Oh. <laughs> and then I didn't feel it anymore. Mine are actually warm. Yeah. I don't know how it got warm because, yeah. honestly, I, I thought I was going to lose it. In the, I'm like, do I really want to do this? But then, I'm like, I'm sweaty now because we were riding. But, you know, for our first time out, that's not bad. Yeah, it was great. I think we did good. Yeah. So, yay. Now, we need coffee. <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> well, good morning. It is. Tuesday. I had to think about that one. So I'm about to film a video and thought I'd show you all the steps I take before I film a video. The first thing I do is I do Lumify Drops. Um, did you see recently on the news that there were some counterfeit of this sold on Amazon? So it looked like the real thing, but it was sold from like another manufacturer, not manufacturer, like company. So I've said this a few times on Amazon, not Amazon, about Amazon, that when you are purchasing on Amazon, Walmart is the same thing. You just got to watch. It will say to you who it's sold by. I personally do not buy anything 
like anything that would go on my face, in my body, on my hair, well, that would be my body, that does not say it is from the actual manufacturer. Like when I bought this, it said it was sold by Lumify. Um, maybe it was shipped from Amazon, that's fine. If it's sold from Amazon, shipped from Amazon, I'm also fine with that. But it has to be, like it's not gonna be some obscure name. Does that make sense? So if people had done that, they would not have received counterfeit. People were getting problems with their eyes. So, and you guys see, I actually have a problem with my eye. I, nothing about Lumify, I haven't used that in weeks. But I have this little, like, I don't know if it's a sty. It's actually getting better on its own. And it really hasn't gotten really bad, but it's just kind of odd. Do you guys see the redness? <laughs> so... Anyways, I don't know what that's about, but I've been trying to be careful about not rubbing it and not putting much um, like skincare and stuff there. So the next thing I do is I use my Crest white strips. I get the 3D white strips for sensitive teeth. I use these. So these go on. I actually did a reel or a short about this. These go on before I brush. For some reason, they say that better. And I just make sure my nail hits like all the crevices. And then I just bring my, my tongue brings it around the back of my teeth. And then I have a thing here and I just put it on 30 minutes. You could use your phone. I just happen to really like this. Um, and 30 minutes later, I take these off. So I like these because I can talk. They don't move around on my mouth. I obviously don't eat or drink or anything for 30 minutes, but they work for me perfectly. So that's what I always do. And then obviously I do my skincare like normal. See how white my eyes are already? I love that. Okay, my first advice to you is get everything cleaned up in your kitchen make sure you've had lunch or breakfast or whatever it is don't do this hungry just get rid of dishes that need to be cleaned put away any clean dishes and start with kind of a fresh kitchen the next thing to do is kind of kind of tackle each section as you have time to do it i don't have time to do a deep deep clean all in one day it would never get done and I would get into the middle of my kitchen being completely disheveled and it would be time to cook dinner and that would feel very overwhelming. So what I'm gonna do is tackle sections of my kitchen. First, I'm gonna tackle like food stuff, the pantry, the refrigerator, the freezer, the base, we have food down in our basement. It's kind of our extras and things we have an opened pantry, things like that. So that's my first plan of action. Okay, so this is my pantry. Up there is no food, but all down here is food. So we're gonna tackle that first. I'm going to empty it out and put it all out on my peninsula here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really looking forward to this, but it'll feel so good when it's done. And if I wait until I feel like doing it, I'm never gonna feel like doing it. So I might as well do it. that is in your way of functioning out of the way. Okay, I was gonna empty the entire thing out, but I kind of feel like I need to maybe go through each drawer and declutter first, because if I empty this entire thing out, it's gonna be a huge mess in here and I don't have any room to maneuver stuff, move it around, all that. So I'm gonna tackle just decluttering, not deciding where things go, just get rid of stuff that I know I'm never gonna use. First things first, look at expiration dates. I don't even know where one is. I cannot remember when we bought this, so it's going in the garbage. Okay. We actually like these, so we're gonna keep these. These are the kind of things, no one's going to eat these. We have soy sauce in a jar and we can always just get soy sauce someplace else. So we just don't need 
any of this kind of stuff. April 5th, 2023. Yeah. What's left is these, and I believe these are white chocolate, which none of us like. Oh no, it's milk chocolate. Oh yay. Okay. Any chocolate that is found is your payment for all your hard work. Okay, these are all things I'm going to keep. Doesn't mean they're going to be in that drawer, but we're keeping them. We're not getting rid of them. These are all the ones we're getting rid of. Okay, next drawer. Okay, it's much easier to vacuum before you start cleaning it up. I'm not sure why I haven't been doing that. Drawer three. Okay, I have an idea and I'm not sure if I should implement this idea. I'm thinking about switching where we keep our pots and pans with our pantry. Our pots and pans are in these two drawers. Actually, it's this drawer and then down here is our like Tupperware stuff which I think is a waste of space. I'm wondering, could these go in this? Would that be logical? If I had all the pots and pans and all the Tupperware stuff containers in here. I know that doesn't seem logical, but to some degree we're already doing that. Up here is more pots and pans and things that we just don't use all the time. But I, you don't know until you try, so you might as well see, like maybe this is a brilliant idea. I know my family's gonna go, really? Because <laughs> it's always painful to change things. You just wanna be able to go over and find the thing you're looking for. But if it makes it more efficient in the long run, it's worth the change. So I did order these pot racks. I ordered two different ones. I'm gonna see if maybe that would be wise to do in the cabinet because I don't know. I, I think it'd be better if they lined up instead of stacking. So I'm gonna try that. Okay, I've already come up with one issue. Taller things are not gonna fit in either of the drawers. So I have to figure out what I wanna do there. Do I decant it into something else? which is possible. I mean, I'm not against that, but I'm also not like pro, you have to decant everything. This is where I am so far. I have no idea if this is gonna work. This is basically snacks, things that we would not use to cook something. It, it's, it, you would eat it just as it is. Peanut butter, you know, just all the things. Even things that my husband likes to buy and I can hide it out of my sight. So you would just eat it as it is. Then down here is stuff that you would cook with. And I am having an issue that things are too tall. Like this is too tall. This one fits. So I need to find more of those or that tall because this doesn't fit like that. And it doesn't even fit like this. It still hits. So I have to figure out a solution to that. Over here, this is where we're at right now. I decided to put all square and rectangle in the top one and then all round. Oh, these are square. <laughs> okay, so maybe I need to rethink this, but predominantly round in this one just to make things separated. And I don't know if this is logical or not. And then down here are pots and pans and I might move some of these that are up here in this cabinet down to here. So I, this could be the stupidest idea in the world. So I think I'm going to go to Target or Walmart, probably Walmart, I think I'd get cheaper and get a little bit of things to help put in containers that would fit in there. I know I want containers that you can look down in. I don't understand people who do these drawers and you can't see in, I, I don't get that. <laughs> Like, I don't even want to label it because it's going to change too much. And I don't want to read something. I just want to be able to look quick and go. Because I just think if it's difficult in any way, I think we won't like it. And maybe that's lazy of us, but I just 
reality here. Pretty sure my family's not gonna like this at first, but I can always move it back. It's not like I'm committed to anything. It's just, let's just see if it works. Okay, it's the next day and it's very funny. My family came home last night and my husband's like, oh, why'd you move it? <laughs> oh, it's hard to change things that you're just so used to, but it's okay. I kept saying, you'll get used to it. It'll be fine. <laughs> And I'm not even used to it, but I do need to get a few containers. I've measured to see how tall the drawer is because I can't get the cereal containers that we have to fit in there. And we do like to put those in containers. My husband actually likes them in them, not in the actual boxes. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go get a couple of those. Um, and, and just look around and see if there's anything else that would help me organize. So I'm gonna go to Target first, and then I need to go to Costco. I need to get bacon anyways. I love their pre-made bacon. I'll show you what I mean when I get it, but it's like the best. And I'll look and see what containers they have. I don't think I need what they have because you have to get so much. Like, they, obviously it's Costco. That's a whole bunch of stuff in one Thing. and I don't need all that. All right, I am back from Costco and Target. I thought I would show you what I got. No judgment, please. <laughs> Hold your comments about whatever I bought. I'm gonna try this. I haven't got used um, Kirkland's brand, but this is the Colombian Supreme and then it's whole bean because we grind our coffee, our machine does it. So I don't know, I always smell it here because if it smells burnt in here, it's gonna smell and taste burnt in your coffee. So excited to try that. I always get the Kirkland Extra Virgin Italian Olive Oil because I hear that this is the best according to, I think it's Bobby Flav, I don't know. But it is a product of Italy, so I figure it's gotta be decent. I also got their avocado oil spray because I hear this is good. I've been looking for it. Last time it was sold out. I thought I would try this. This is New Trail No Sugar Granola. Now I make my own granola, but sometimes I just don't have time to do it. This looked promising. Ingredients are sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, coconut, almonds, pecans, erythritol. I think that's a sweetener. Butter, cream, natural. That's funny that there's butter in this. Dried blueberry, cinnamon, salt, monk fruit extract. So I know that's a sweetener. So it says it's two grams of sugar, no sugar added. And I think this looks yummy. So I want to try it. I feel like I tried this a long time ago, but I'm not sure if it's the same thing. But let's try it. We like the pesto. We make our own pesto, but we ran out. You know, we make it all summer and we ran out because it's almost the end of winter. So I got some basil pesto. It's made with, I don't even know. I didn't even look at the ingredients I should have. I don't wanna know. Ignorance is bliss. Okay, blueberries. You know, you gotta have blueberries. Okay, this is the bacon I was telling you guys. It's fully cooked. It's hickory wood, smoked, microwavable. We don't microwave it, we just cook it. We put it on a pan. They do add some sugar into it. I don't know why, although it says total sugars zero. So it's cured with water, salt, sugar, sodium, erythrobate, and sodium nitrate. Is that nitrates and that's the thing that everyone's against? Yeah. Don't come at me. I didn't buy it for that. I bought it for convenience and we use this. Sometimes we make our own, but this is just makes life easier. Okay, you can come at me on this one too. We like this just bare. This is lightly breaded chicken breast chunk. So it's boneless and skinless. It's 16 grams of protein, no added hormones or steroids. I mean, this is not, I would not consider this a healthy food, but it's just slightly healthier than the real thick breaded stuff. And it tastes amazing. I like to stock up on these when I can. So yep, I know, I know it's not natural. I know. Okay. <laughs> and these I always stock up on. This is their rotisserie. I, I get two. Did you know that Costco actually loses money on these? Cause they're only five bucks. So I'm sure it's injected with horrible things. I know, I know. <laughs> but um, yeah, we do like them and I do not claim to be 
like Miss Perfect. What I like to do is take off all the bone, all the meat, and we eat the meat or we I cube it up, and then I will make bone broth with the bones, and then I can save the bone broth, and I'll use that like in our rice instead of water. I'll use bone broth, and so it's a more protein rich um, rice. So I will do that. And then I'm having huge sleeping issues, and I have for a while. So I'm trying all different kinds of natural sleep things. So I got another one at Target, I'll show you. But this is just Nature's Bounty Sleep 3. Fall, sleep faster, and long lasting because it's time release. So I can usually get to sleep, but I wake up. And then I stay awake or I wake up several times throughout the night. Just It's just a problem. So this is one of the things I'm trying. If you guys have a remedy that's a natural sleep remedy that really works for you, please put it in the comments. I'll show you the other one I got. So obviously don't comment that one if that's the one that you use because I haven't tried it yet. Up at Target, I got these for my husband's cereal. I'm not a cereal eater and neither is my daughter. So it's really him but he does like to have a variety. So a couple things open at one time. He's not eating the same cereal all week. These will fit in my drawers. So I thought, okay, let's try these. And it's a good seal. These are not cheap. Not happy about that. So they gotta work really well. And I ha he has to love it or I'm returning these. I also got this. This is like a thing to put, like you can put um, different, uh, like j bar <laughs> bars, <laughs> tea. I don't know what this is. Like, what? oh, it's another divider. So you can divide them out and change them out. I thought that was interesting. I I've got to see if I love it. If I don't, I will return. I can return any of this. So we'll see how that works. Here's the other. Oh, 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 no. Eucerin se Sensitive Mineral Face. This is SPF 35. I, it's new, so I wanted to try it because it's from Eucerin, and I like some of their products. So we'll see if I like this. It says it's good under makeup. Okay, here's the other sleep aids that I got. Now, I've been taking... Oh, I can't get it out of here. I've been taking magnesium glycinate. They say that's really good for sleep. So I've been doing that. I ran out of them, so I thought I'd get them again. But I also got Ollie... Um, extra strength sleep. So I did the Ollie brand before. They worked okay, but they weren't the extra strength. So I thought I would try that with melatonin L, theanine, 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 and botanicals. So this doesn't have magnesium in it, so I can combine these two. So we'll see about these. I will let you guys know because I know some of you are dealing with sleep issues silicone uh, baking mat. And then this is the last thing I got for, I'm thinking the lids, my Tupperware lids, maybe, we'll see. I also have some coming in on Amazon today that will do like pots and pans. So I'm hoping with these things that I got, this will organize everything and keep it all neat. Amazon came and these come fully assembled. I like these better because I don't feel like dealing with this. It's probably easy, but I am going to see if these are easier to do. It's like they were made for it. Uh, too big. Stink, they're not wide enough. I have to use the adjustable ones. Ugh. Before I do it all, oh, let's see if this works. No, it's no, it's still gonna be too short. Stink. Let's try this one. Oh, that one works. Okay, getting rid, well, we think, of the bright room. Yes, that'll work. Yay. Okay, this pan right here, I literally use only for popcorn. It is my popcorn pan. I've had it for years. It's seasoned, as you can see. <laughs> So this I'm gonna put, it fits perfectly right there. So I'm gonna put this, oh, it doesn't, oh yeah, it does kind of fit, that's fine. I'm gonna put it there. Okay, I just had a thought. What if I put the rack of 
pots and pans up here because there's a lot of length and a lot of space. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Very dark. Turn the light on, Bobby. I'm feeling hopeful it might work. A walk doesn't fit. It's just too deep. So I think I'm okay with that. I think if it sits up here, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so this is what it's looking so far. I wanna move these over because I just have one more flat one and then small ones to do. Okay, I think I did it. So those are in there. Those are all the flat or rounded, you know, pans and stuff. There's a couple lids, that's fine. Up there is big stuff and some just odd shaped things. Stuff we don't use very much. I'm still working on that and that, but all the lids are in the back, so easy to reach. Pots and pan, just, you know, saucepans on the front with some of the lids, and then the bigger pots and pans down here. And I even have a little space back there. And what makes this easy is obviously we can pull it out to get things in the back. So that makes it so much easier. This, so it's easy to just grab it and go. You can grab a pan, take it out. I want to see if this would be more useful. This is what I got at Target. So I want to see if this is better. So for the most part, this is working. I'm filming this um, probably three weeks after I did this. And it's pretty much working. We've had a little snafu. Sometimes these things are a little bit too tall for it. But sometimes we just lay them on their side and they're fine. We haven't kept strict to this is the like snack area and things because you will see in here you'll see we have some snacks like this and stuff but honestly who really cares about that but you can see I mean we're fitting everything this is working just fine and I will say that this is also working great um, I had a bunch of stuff in the freezer that we got rid of things that were just old so we have more containers so we have way more than we need and it's working I definitely fit them all in one and so far so good this system is working just fine it works out great that we can pull it out this one's just fine and this up here is working great like we really have had no issues and again been working with this for about three weeks now I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and post another vlog right here. I'll see you maybe in that one or another one. God bless.